I didn't want to miss this opportunity to be with you guys and to celebrate and to have a little Halloween fun with you guys. So up in the ante again, we've uh, included our six of our seven jack-o'-lanterns that we have carved. So I'll be careful to stay towards the front of the mat and not kick a hole in any of our pumpkins here. And we've added that Charlie and I just completed a 5K plus yesterday, uh, about four and a half miles. Um, so included our, our pumpkin medal for that. And I think maybe, oh, and giant spooky spider. So welcome to Halloween with Strong South Fitness. Um, I want to keep the chatting short because I want to be able to really get into the treat portion of our workout and make sure we have plenty of time left for that. So, oh, Rizzo wants to come say happy Halloween. Ruth, say happy Halloween. She's like, and deuces, happy Halloween in the back. <laughs> so, we want to make sure we have plenty of time for the treat at the end of our trick or treat workout. So, all you need today is just your yoga mat, your floor support. That is all you need, no equipment. We are going straight, not all cardio, mostly cardio and body weight work today. So, that is all you need, yoga mat. So just quickly, I'm going to go over the workout. I'm going to do a quick demonstration of each exercise. We'll hit them all again, of course, as we get there. But this workout is kind of fast and furious. So there's not going to be a lot of time for me to stop and coach and talk to you about it. So fast and furious is kind of like once we're in, once that timer starts, we are in. It's spooky, I'm spooking you out, right? So we are doing a trick or treat workout. So the trick part of the workout is gonna be a 30 minute Tabata. So Tabata or um, HIIT training, high intensity interval training um, is another way people refer to it. It can mean all sorts of things, all sorts of different times. I kind of alluded to this in our circuit workout um, the other day. But basically it means you work really hard for a short burst, take a short break, Work really hard for a short burst. So it's kind of like your effort. And there's, um, I won't, again, get the whole, a bunch of, it, of explanation, but if you're curious, just Google benefits of Tabata or benefits of HIT. and it'll kind of tell you more about why that's beneficial versus long, steady state cardio, um, like going for a four and a half mile walk or riding a bike for two hours. Um, how there are some different benefits um, to the Tabata up and downs versus that steady state cardio. So if you're curious, that's what we're, um, what, what we're talking about today. So we're going to be working in 20 second burst, 10 second rest, 20 second 10, 20 second 10. It goes super fast. Um, the good news is if you're doing something you hate, which there are several things on here that you will probably hate. I know I even, I'm even with you. I put my least favorite exercise. I was just talking about how I hate mountain climbers. I put them in there. So wanted to show solidarity with you guys and include my least favorite exercise in this workout. So 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, super fast. We're gonna do two exercises, it'll be four minutes. So um, once you get into it, it'll, it'll make more sense. But basically we do a four minute block of two exercises, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, 20 seconds on, and we alternate between those two exercises. We'll do that for four minutes, and then we take a minute and a half break, catch our breath, and then we go into it again. So we have six total sets of that. So it'll be 12 total exercises. It'll make more sense when we get, once we get into it. It's kind of hard to explain and, and picture what that's gonna look like. Um, let's see, oh, and then our treat. So whatever time we have remaining, which as long as I don't talk too much longer, should be about 30 minutes or so, we're gonna spend stretching. So the trick is the Tabata, 30 seconds of just butt kicking, sweat dripping, out of breath work, and then 30 minutes or so of stretch, recovery, relaxation. So that's our treat. Um, I'm a big proponent of yoga and stretching, and so um, I never take the time to do a whole video of that for you guys, so I wanted to give you that treat today. Um, let's see, of course, just our standard stuff, modify as needed. A lot of these exercises we're gonna do today there's several variations of, including using the wall. Um, and also there are some jumping options. So if you're looking for higher intensity and impact, that you can handle impact, then I'll show you the version of that. As you know, I generally don't do impact, so I'll show you kind of the next level down with no impact. And then most exercises we can take you to the next level down. 
add music if you need it. I prefer some spooky Halloween music if you have it. I've been listening to Thriller and Monster Mash and, um, oh my gosh, Don't Fear the Reaper, <laughs> Highway to Hell. I've been listening to Be My Frankenstein all morning just to get into the spirit. So I encourage you to do the same. Um, of course, I'll be checking Facebook for questions, but I won't have a ton of time for that. Um, but in between each Tabata set, I will jump in and check as quick as I can while I'm catching my breath and trying to chug some water. And then always please just share these workouts, share the fun that we're having here, share the good work we're doing. Um, as I said, if you follow me on Twitter, which I don't do much on Twitter, you know, a lot of people are kind of giving up on themselves right now, and I understand. But it's up to us who are still working hard and trying to stay motivated to help motivate those people too. I see that as kind of my kind of part of my job. So share, encourage, get people moving with us. And last, if you do wish to donate any um, funds for these workouts, it is the only payment I receive. It is greatly appreciated. Venmo at Strong Style Fit is where you find me. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you real quickly the moves we're gonna be doing, just so you can kind of mentally prepare, and then we're gonna get started. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention for our stretch is, if you have like one of these stretching assistance bands, um, or, uh, what would you call it? A strap, a stretching strap. Um, you want that for your workout. You don't have to go grab it right now, but before we get to our stretch, if you don't have one of these, which I know there's a good chance you don't, grab a towel, like a big towel, like a beach towel or your biggest bath towel, something like that. So you don't have to grab it right this minute, but you can, I can't see, do whatever you wanna do. Um, or um, just wait until our pause between the trick and the treat and you can go grab that. Okay, so our exercises, our first set is going to be power jacks. We just did power jacks in our circuit class. So power jacks, we stand to the center, step out to the side. Power jack. 20 seconds. That's not a lot of time, so don't into it. Really work it out. 20 seconds. And then speed squat. So we'll do 20 seconds power jack, 10 second break. And then we'll go to speed squat. So speed squat is just speed squats as fast as you can with your squat, but that doesn't turn into this, right? We're still squatting fully, just doing it quickly. So that's set one. Set two, it's gonna be mountain climbers and push-ups. I'm not gonna get in the floor, I'm not gonna waste the time, but I think you know what both of those are. So mountain climbers on the ground, knees in, and then push-ups. That'll be Four minutes of cycling through that, 20, 10, 20, 10. We're gonna do skaters. So skaters are full impact. You jump to the side. So think like a speed skater. That's your big stride push off behind you. So that's a skater. And then we're gonna do star jumps. I don't jump. I'll show you like one. <laughs> and then I'll show you the modification. So star jump, you tuck in close and then jump out into a star. Or here, which is where I'll be. Okay? And we got tricep push ups. I may even pause the timer for a second to show you tricep push ups. Once we get there, Superman pull downs, we lay on our back, flex up, and pull back. Again, I may pause the timer before that set just to show you both of those. We're doing standing knee drives for our set five. So standing knee drives are here. And I just kicked my pumpkin like I didn't want to. All right, I'm going to do knee drives this direction. <laughs> Standing knee drives and high knees. Or if you can do impact, high knees. And then we're going to come down on the floor, bicycle crunch, supine leg lifts. So that's kind of what we're looking at. A lot of us just demonstrating it to you. All right, guys, so it is 10 10. So, don't want to lose any more of our stretch time. We're already kind of cutting into it. I'm going to take a quick drink, check the video. We're going to get right to it. As soon as I hit that timer, we go. Power jacks, all right? So get ready. I'll be right back. Tanisha, hey girl, I hope you're here to work. Yes, I hope you're here working with us. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 minutes. And then we're stretching for 30 minutes. Not that you need my help. You're a yoga instructor and you're fabulous. So, but I'm super happy you're here, Tanisha. All right, guys. So I'm going to step out, hit that timer, power jacks, get ready. All right. All right. Here comes the trick. 
Let's go, 20 seconds, power jack. Or if you can jump, power jack. Just make sure you're standing, landing lightly. Whoop, that's your time, 10 seconds. I'll turn my timer, volume up. So we've got speed squats next. All right, speed squat. So regular squat, just quickly. Again, don't turn into this. We're not pulsing. We're just doing squats quickly. Got super important that you are breathing through all of this. Don't hold on to that breath. All right, 10 seconds. Power jacks. So we're just going to keep alternating. All right, here we go. Power jack. You guys make sure that you aren't toe tapping out to the center, that you're stepping out into a squat using those arms. Ten seconds. Whew. I keep looking at the timer. This is a really complicated timer to program. Make sure I didn't screw it up. Speed squats. Setting those hips back into that chair. I'm gonna be breathing extra loud. One, because I'm gonna be out of breath. And two, I wanna encourage you to hear it and breathe. 10 seconds. jacks. Make sure you're using those arms. That's where a lot of that cardio comes from. It's moving arms and legs together. Good work. Ooh. See, it goes super fast, right? So if it's an exercise you hate, it doesn't last long. Speed squats. Good work, guys. Until you try, right? It's only 20 seconds. Woo! That's our break. Hit your breath. So our next set is going to be mountain climbers and push-ups. We're in the four. If your heart rate's super high right now, wait till the break's a little closer to over. Let the heart rate come down a little bit before you go to the four. I'm going to check the video. Be right back. fingers, shoulders and elbows in line, we come back and then mountain climb, we pull our knees in towards our chest, so full versions here, or you can slow it down, here, then we drop to our knees or stay tall and do push-ups. 
All right. We've got about 15 seconds. Let's go ahead and get yourself set up. If you're not in four already, get yourself ready. Whew. Like I said, it moves fast, right? Here we go. Make sure you're staying over those wrists. Sometimes when we mount climb, we tend to start working our way back. Stay up over that wrist. Woo! Man, I hate them. <laughs> Nothing's changed. Hate them. All right, push up. Make sure you've got those shoulders rolled back. Nice broad chest. Push ups, 20 seconds. Take that couple seconds. You can shake wrists out. Take that time. <sighs> Make sure you're breathing, guys. Breathe, breathe, breathe. most of the time. We've got our break. So, two sets. I've already got sweat dripping. <laughs> I wanted to wear like fun, spooky Halloween makeup. I was like, girl, be serious. <laughs> you were doing too modest for 30 minutes. That makeup's gonna be. Ugh. So, I just put on a red lip. All the clothes I can find. <laughs> All right, guys, we got a minute. I'm gonna check the video. Make sure you're getting some water too, please. Please, 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 guys. Make sure you're staying hydrated. All right, so we've got our skaters coming up. 
So skaters, they can be as big as you want. So I'm probably off camera right now, but you can take huge jumps across if you want, or you can take little jumps across. If you can't do much impact, or if you can do no impact, then just take big steps, step them across, okay? Whew, I'm gonna work towards the front of the mat, just have a little more room. We've got 15 seconds of so skaters, and then star jumps. So star jumps was the big tuck, burst out into a star, or single side, okay? All right, skaters, let's go. Like I said, these can be huge, huge jumps if you want. Make sure you're using those arms. <sighs> Sorry, I did quit a little early. Scoot more my little pumpkins, I was kicking them. All right, star jumps coming up next. And if you're modified, I want you to be here, but as fast as you can. Still tucking up, tuck, explode. All right, skaters. Ah, nose is running. Ah, everything's running. Skaters. Again, if you can't hop, then just big step, big step. Just think light on your feet. Basically, whatever light on your feet translates to for you, that's how much you need for your skater. All right, start jumps. Good guys, keep breathing. Good guys, make power skater. Big push with that back leg. Push, push like you're driving yourself forward. Star jump. Last time. Really get those arms and legs out there. Don't half step it.
Beautiful, beautiful. Those so of you that normally work with me know this is very different for me. Usually we're lifting heavy weights. <sighs> Not today though. It's all about that heart rate, that cardio, that sweat. That's where we're working today. <sighs> Don't worry, we'll resume regular scheduled Tracy programming on Tuesday. All right guys, I'm gonna pause. Well, I'm gonna like, go ahead and go for a bit until we get done. But I'm gonna pause once we get to the end of our break. I wanna show you what the tricep push-up looks like. So, perfect. So, we still are gonna have our hands right underneath our elbows, right under, under our wrists. I'm gonna show you from almost tabletop just so I can really slow it down and show you. So we're here, we wanna make sure our chest is nice and broad. So we don't wanna be tucked forward. Nice broad chest. Our elbows are going to drop straight back behind us. So, we're up, triceps come back, and then we push up. So you almost want to even push your chest almost up between your hands. So you really want to make sure you don't want to be back here. Now, if you are a beginner, this is a great option. So this would be like your most beginner in tabletop, or you can come forward, be here, or you can do full version up on your toes, or you can come to the wall. Same thing. You just want to make sure that your elbows are scraping past those ribs. There's no space between my arm and my side body. So that's tricep push-up. They are difficult. Don't be surprised if you need to work here or if you need to come up to the wall. Only yoga is what has got me to be able to do that because that's a very yoga move. Then we do Spider-Man push-ups. I'm sorry, Spider-Man pull-downs. So we're here, our arms extend out, we squeeze through our back body to lift everything, pull our elbows back and out. Back. So we drop down, pull up, lift down, pull up. Okay? All right, a little extra break there. 10 seconds, you're gonna tick off. We're gonna get started on those tricep push-ups. Don't worry so much about speed on our tricep push-ups because you're worried about getting them right, okay? All right, push-ups. movements aren't as on point as normal. I've got a lot of stuff around me. <laughs> All right, tricep push-ups again, guys. Again, nice broad chest. Drop straight down. Push-up. Arms narrow. Woo! Lower it down. Superman's coming up. Pull back body, squeeze, pull, pull. So make sure you're not just arching through your back, that you're squeezing your butt, you're squeezing between those shoulders to pull those elbows back. All right, halfway there. Tricep push-ups, broad chest, straight down, up. Woo! <laughs> Woo! They're not easy, guys. If 
if you're at home going, oh my God, except for you, Tanisha, if you're here still, I'm sure you're killing it. Ah. All right, let's go. Pull.
weight towards the heel, towards the back of the foot, on your planted leg. bicycle crunch. We're doing double leg lifts or single leg. If you need to modify. We're going to check my video. I'll meet you in the floor. 45 seconds. Alright, 30 seconds. I'm going to come on down. So we got bicycle crunch, which we've done recently. So bicycle, we rotate our whole chest. We don't just crank our head. We rotate chest, think shoulder to knee. So that's our bicycle. And then for our leg lifts, we put our hands underneath, extend both legs, and lift. All right, bicycle crunch. So 
think. Flat, I'm not sucked in. Flat, pelvic floor, up and in. Not lifted, just muscles up and in. And tough guys, so close. your breath and remember if you don't have the stretch assist strap then grab a nice big towel like a beach towel or your biggest bath towel it can serve the exact same purpose and we're gonna do everything on the floor so just once you catch your breath once you feel good it's so maybe down on the floor I strongly encourage you to stay as a group fitness instructor I know that people tend to get to the end of class and when we do the cool down and the stretch, people start to pack up and leave. Take your treat, right? You budgeted an hour. You knew you were gonna be here an hour. We're always here an hour or more. Take the time. Don't just walk away, because we're not kicking your ass for another 30 minutes, all right? All right, so my heart rate's gonna come down a little bit. I'm gonna catch water, turn on the video one last time, and then I'll meet you on the floor. Awesome, Caroline, I'm glad you liked it. I have definitely done a lot of group fitness classes in that manner, sometimes longer, but usually only about 30, 45 minutes is what you wanna do. Um, I'm not saying I don't do an hour of that, but that is a lot. Um, and at some point you're gonna get into that kind of steady state cardio again. So, um, but yeah, you guys enjoyed it, love feedback. If you guys enjoyed the Tabata, the hit, I'm definitely happy to throw that in more often. 
Um, so we can definitely keep exploring that because we're interested. All right, so let me see. We've got 47, 57, 07, about 23 minutes. So perfect. All right, so I'm going to set timer for 22 minutes. All right. Perfect. All right. So, guys, let's just start in a seated, comfortable position. I want you to sit nice and tall. So, really, first things first, make sure you're sitting over your sit bones. Make sure you're not sitting slouched back or tilted back or tilted forward. We're right over the sit bones. Sit nice and tall. Imagine a string out of your head pulling you up. Tall, tall, tall. Let's take our chin. We're going to push our chin back. We're trying to make a double chin. And then tilt right ear to your shoulder. Come back to the middle. Left ear. Now, if that didn't feel super intense, if that felt okay, just a nice stretch, I want you to take your left hand and reach it down beside you. And I want you to imagine that you're pushing the floor away. So don't actually put your hand on the floor and push. Hover right above it, but then push energy down like we're pushing away. Double chin, opposite ear. So you're going to have your left hand pushing down, drop your right ear. That should intensify that stretch. We didn't do, well, we did a, good, a fair amount of upper body today. Nothing too stressful in the shoulders, but when we're breathing hard and we're getting really tense, we tend to tense up through here. Come back to the middle. Switch out hands, push that floor away, double chin. Woo. Keep pushing that floor away. Don't lose that energy of pushing the floor away. Come back to the center. And again, double chin. There's a reason why I'm saying that. I don't want to waste a ton of time on it, but trust me, double chin. Now we're going to draw little circles, like there's a pencil coming out of the crown of our head. Draw a small circle, and with each circle, let it get a little bit bigger. Here, it's just kind of resting in our lap. Draw in that circle. Once you get to the biggest circle, make one full big circle, and then start to make smaller circles until you get back to stillness. If you're there, if you're not there, just get there when you can. If you are there, we're going to go the other way. So again, double chin, small circle, other direction. Each circle looking a little bigger. Again, once you get to your biggest circle, make it a little smaller each time. Guys, you might still be feeling all that Tabata work. I know I'm feeling it as I sit here. My muscles are kind of jumping. It's okay. Just breathe through it. We're going to come to our back, so it'll help us relax even more. So we're going to do a warm-up for our spine. We're going to do a seated cat-cow. So seated, I want you to put your hands on your knees. A little bit of gentle pressure. We're not pulling. Just some gentle pressure. We're going to arch our back like a Halloween cat. We're going to push our chest forward. Let our head come back, and then reverse it as we breathe out. Halloween cat back. Perfect for today, right? Halloween cat, drop everything back, and then breathe. But bring it back through. So move with your breath as you breathe in. Chest, heart shines forward, shoulders pull back, and breathe out. 
Halloween cat, everything rolls forward. Good. I just know something gnarly bruised from getting blood drawn. Huh. All right, guys. So now we're going to breathe up. Imagine your spine again. You're lifting up out of your hips. And as you breathe out, rotate. You can use this knee to give yourself a little tug. Don't crank into your spine. Just some gentle pressure. If you're twisted the same way as me with your left hand forward, I want you to take your right shoulder blade and press it in. See if you can really open that chest. And as you breathe in, come tall. Rotate the other direction. And now you have the freedom to move with your breath. As you breathe in, out, twist. Breathe in. You're also welcome to just stay and hold if that feels better. One more at each side. on hands and knees briefly and then we're going to come to our back. So now we're going to be in tabletop. So we got our knees and our hips right over one another. Our hands and our shoulders right over one another. Nice long spine. Make sure you're not crunched up. Give that spine some room to grow. And we're going to do cat-cow again. So cow belly, we drop our belly, breathe in. Heart shines forward, chest through our biceps. And as we breathe out, Everything comes up and in. Push that floor away. Back. So one more. here to me it always feels good to do a little side to side so imagine you're trying to touch your shoulder to your hip shoulder to your hip Straight, 
But if you can't get your legs straight, it needs to be a little bit. That's all right. Pull it up. You should feel a nice stretch down the back of that leg. Really think about relaxing that hip down to the floor. Don't be elevated. Really relax that hip down to the floor. All right, so from here, I like to switch my strap to one hand. We're going to pull as close as we can up to our chest. And then we're going to take this leg, keeping this hip grounded, and pull it over to the side. So again, keeping the hip grounded. So I don't want you to do this and lift your hip up. I want that hip to be grounded and pulled up. Oh, Bridget! Do you have a costume on? Look at you, my little hip on a tutu. Dude, a girl. So good. Look at you. You can stay right there with me if you want. What a good girl. Oh my gosh, guys, she hates costumes and she's in it and she looks so sweet. Oh, good girl. Even a little tutu on your hip bone. What a great girl. Say happy Halloween. Oh. All right, guys, from here, we're gonna take that leg now again, lift it and we're gonna let it drop out to the side. Again, we're gonna keep this hip down on the ground, so don't let it roll you over. Stay here, open up. Little Rizzo, you are so good. You should feel a nice stretch all through that hip, open and wide. Again, keeping this, your opposite shoulder on the ground, hip on the ground. Perfect. Let's bring it back up. So now we're going to do a half happy baby. So we can take our strap away. We're going to bring our knee down towards the ground. And if we can, we're going to reach out and grab the outside edge of our foot. So it's almost like a half squat, right? If I could be, if I was on my feet, this would, the, let's say the ceiling is the floor, and I'm sort of in a squat position. So my knee is flared out to the side, and I'm giving a little gentle pressure down through that foot. Again, open hips, open through the back of that glute. Little gentle pressure, keeping that hip on the other side flat to the ground. Look at you, little girl. You look so cute. Oh my gosh, and it's a bee. Oh my goodness, it's my bumblebee. Oh my goodness, I'm getting kisses. <laughs> oh, look at you in your bee costume. <laughs> you look awesome, Bubba. Guys, if you haven't met B before, B is 17. He is completely blind. He is completely deaf. But he loves Halloween costumes. He loves clothes. And he is the best boy. Oh my goodness, the room is in my butt. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to take our opposite leg now. We're going to cross the same foot that we've been stretching over. And we are over. <laughs> we're going to lift, crossed over, flexed foot. We're going to lift our chest up. We're going to thread the needle. Grab behind that hamstring, or if you're really flexible, you can grab your shin, and we're going to lay back. So you should get a killer stretch all through this hip. Guys, there's no shame in threading underneath your hamstring. In fact, that's where most of us are. Most of us can't grab here up on the shin. It's way too intense. I just do this stretch a lot, so I'm able to do this. Hi, Tuna's back. Hi, big girl. <laughs> she needs a parrot costume or she's going to sit on my shoulder. Ooh, this is a really yummy stretch, guys. So good for your hip. We carry so much tension, so much stress in our hips, especially as ladies. Awesome, guys. Then from here, one last thing on this leg. We're going to take our knee now and pull it up towards our chest,
straighten the opposite leg. We're going to take our opposite hand out to the side. Knee pulls up and in. I'm sorry, we're going to grab with the opposite hand. This arm comes out and we're going to pull our knee across. Now you can let this hip come up. We are rotating through that spine.
This is a great one to really focus on that breathing in and out of the hip. Because for most of us, this is a really tough one. Alright guys, and then last, we're going to drop that leg out. Bring this knee in towards our chest. Grab with opposite hand. And we roll across. And this is where you can let that hip come up. Spinal twist. Your opposite shoulder, the one that's um, with your arm extended out, really try to relax that shoulder down. So you also get a nice stretch through that chest and the shoulder. All right, guys. Woo, let's roll it back up and over. Oh my goodness, we've got a new costume change. All right, I'm gonna bring them in. Come here, buddy, look at you. So this is B, and he's a BB-8. He's a little BB-8 is what he is. Look at this handsome boy. Oh my gosh. Look at these sweet puppets, guys. So thank you so much, guys. I hope you have enjoyed our trick, our treat. I love stretching. I hope you enjoyed the stretching. If you want more, let me know. I would love to do more stretching with you guys. I know this was kind of down and dirty and quick, and but I would love to do more. So if you enjoyed it, let me know. I'll be happy to do that. Otherwise, guys, happy Halloween from me, from Bandit, from Rizzo, from Charlie, our lovely producer and set decorator. I hope you guys have a wonderful Halloween. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you next week. Thanks guys so much.